We give all the glory to Almighty God for another day like this. It is by his mercy. I welcome you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Beloved, let us pray. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. You alone is worthy to be praised. Master Jesus, you are in control of our life. We thank you. We honor you. We glorify you. Oh, oh King of Kings, take all your glory. Take all your honor. May your name be praised forever and forever. Oh, among the gods, who is like unto thee, there is no one. Oh, Savior, you have done so much for mankind. So this morning, we will not take your glory. Rather, we will give you the glory. We thank you for the moment that your children around the world have life and are breathing because you control life. And you are the owner of life. May your name be praised. Unto thee, O Lord, all things are possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Miracle working God. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, this is another day. Our Savior, our King, our Lord has given us a message. Without wasting time, let us go to the scripture. The title of the message is discipleship. Oh, what a savior, what a master that he has given us a breath. Shall we go into the scripture? Matthew, our first reading is Matthew 28. And the verses are 18 to 20. And let's read. And Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has, be, has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, all the nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, what is disciple? It is a believer that believe our Lord Jesus Christ. It's only Christ who have the power and authority that deliver mankind from satanic kingdom. Hallelujah. As the scripture said, authority and power belongs to Christ because he alone can lose and bind the work of the enemy. Only our king can do this. Hallelujah be to our king. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor because he deserves it. Hallelujah. We continue. Our next scripture is Matthew, Mark 16. And let us hear the word of God. Mark 16. And the verse is 19. Oh, we give him all the glory. Hallelujah. Let us hear the word of God. Mark 16, and the verse is 15 to 18. Let's hear the word of God. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. 17, and this sign will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak 
with a new tongue. They will take up septium, and if they drink anything deadly, they will by no means hurt them. And they will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. This is our God is telling us. It marks Mark, the scripture we read from 15 to 18. It's about telling us to go and make disciples because Jesus needs souls in his kingdom. And the more we preach about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, the more Holy Spirit will win the hearts of those who are unbelief to God and the kingdom of God will have so many souls. So he is telling us that whatever we will drink, the poison of the enemy, that we might take, it will not hurt us because we have believed him. Oh, it is a commission that we must do it to go out there and preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ so that souls will be one. We need to hear. We need to do it so that people will hear the message of our Lord Jesus Christ because he wants souls to be one for him because he doesn't want anyone to perish. Beloved, this is a tax, and we must do it. We must fulfill it. Oh, what are we waiting for? We need to do it. He is our comforter. He is our guide. And whatever he say, it surely come to pass. We give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. In his mighty name is the fullness. Hallelujah. Beloved, we continue. In Matthew, and the verse is six, and the verse is 19. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever, whoso, and whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you lose on earth will be losing in heaven. Because Jesus know his creation, those who are bound, that's why he said, he has given us the key. The key belongs to our God. The key that our savior has, he opens every door where Satan has chained his children. So with the key, he has given it to us. And whatever we lose, whatever, that we use the key, the doors which are locked will be open. Oh, Master Jesus, you are so wonderful. Beloved, the keys, when we use the key, in the name of Jesus Christ, the doors which are shut will be open. When we believe in the name and the power in the name, it destroys the work of the enemy because they cannot stand the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why in the Bible, it says, at the mention of the name, all knee, including Satan and his demon, they bow before Jesus, what's the savior. Satan will bring temptation and affliction, so many of his scheme, but it will not work because of the power in the name. Oh, what a mighty savior. What a mighty king. We give you all the glory. 
for giving us the name, the name that is above every name. The name is worthy to be used. What a master. The name of our Lord Jesus Christ, he healed. Hallelujah. What a wonderful law that we serve. As I'm bringing the message to the end, beloved, he has given us a tax to go out there and win souls for his kingdom. So you and I must do it. You and I must fulfill it because Jesus loves souls. We give him all the glory for this, this morning that he has given us a message and it's a mandate for us to go and do it. May his will shall be done. We give him all the glory that he has given us a message like this. Father, we will obey your command. May your name be praised. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, our Savior, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May your will shall be done over our lives. Beloved, I take this opportunity in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit to bless his end time prophet that he has ordained to win souls for his kingdom and also his viewers may their heart desire be met in Jesus Christ's mighty name. I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.